Hi, I'm Matt Sargent with ABC Acres in Hamilton, Montana. And what you just saw was me driving this bad boy, doing some subsoiling and some seeding. Today I'm out here with our yeoman's plow, also known as a key line plow. Um, we're gonna talk about some of the special features we like about it, why we use it, why we think everyone should do some sort of subsoiling to help maintain and benefit their pastures and try not to make it feel like an advertisement for the yeoman's plow. One of the primary benefits of subsoil plowing is it helps alleviate compaction. Um, depending on your circumstances and within your context, you might want to consider using the key line um, patterning. For our context, we have all flat land. Um, we have about a a two foot elevation loss from the west end of our property or the east end of our property to our west end of our property with no defined valleys or ridges and the key line pattern just doesn't it's out of context so we use this specifically as a subsoiler we also use it as a no-till seeder um, and when the reasons we subsoil are to alleviate um, hard pans and create better infiltration for water which is gonna improve both the water cycle and the nutrient cycle of our pastures. Um, the shanks, which we'll get a close up of in a little bit, are adjustable and they can go from um, eight to 26 inches deep, which is, we haven't gotten that deep with them yet. Um, we recommend starting at eight inches and successively throughout the years going deeper and deeper. Um, in the short clip you just saw, that's an area we haven't plowed yet. Um, so it was set at eight inches and unlike a typical plow, which is going to flip the soil or fully disturb the soil, these single, these shanks, we've got five on this bad boy. Um, they just cut through it. So there's no soil, dis no major soil disturbance. And the majority of your soil biology is going to remain intact. And it's just going to, as you work from eight to 12 to 15 to 20 inches deep and you break through any hard pan from years of um, historic overgrazing or whatnot which is one of the issues we face it's going to break up that hard pan and allow roots to go deeper which is going to make more nutrients available it's going to allow any water that lands on that piece of the property to really sink down into the soil instead of pooling or sheeting um, and if it goes down into the soil it's not going to evaporate as quick so those are some of the the quick benefits i said that we were also using it as a seeder you can see these boxes here we got the shank pot seeder attachments for our plow and it basically allows us to do no-till seeding in the video i'm seeding sunflowers uh, this is in the crater garden and it's an area that we just really wanted to kind of beautify for our guests visiting the farm. And the sunflowers will add enormous value for insects, pollinators, the wild birds. We might even send our chickens in there once the seeds start dropping. Hopefully this is a little bit of a better close-up of the shank and the coulters. One of the nice things about the yeoman's plow as opposed to most of the subsoilers I've used in my farming history is we have these removable boots that allow you to replace the boot so as it wears over the years by slicing through rocks or hard pan, um, you can replace the boot instead of having to get a giant piece of steel to replace um, a subsoiler. The other nice feature is each shank has this coulter in front of it which helps slice the sod. That way, um, most single shank subsoilers that you'll see at the ag supply places um, it's basically just a two by two piece of steel that cuts down into the soil just like this but it doesn't have the coulter so you can get big clumps of sod that are ripping up and um, you're not leaving as much of your soil intact you're going to create more bear patches one of the things to remember is bare soil is kind of the enemy we're doing everything that we can to promote 100% ground cover. So by creating a thin slice with the coulter, 
this shank has a, a nice clean place to rip and it really reduces the amount of sod that's being dispersed. So I've already discussed how the, the major reason you would want a subsoil, whether you're using a traditional subsoiler or a yeoman's plow, the benefits of increasing water infiltration, the benefits to the nutrient cycle, and overall creating healthier plants. The, what I want to talk about now is why I would recommend using a yeoman's plow over a standard subsoiler. One, having multiple shanks as opposed to the one shank on most traditional subsoilers just allows you to create more rips in your pasture to increase overall aeration of the pasture with fewer passes, which means less, less diesel. And one, we don't love burning diesel on the farm because of the uh, environmental effects and the fact that we are going to run out eventually. So we're trying to reduce as much as we use. Um, but it's also, it saves time and it allows us to get more done. If you have a simple single or triple shank subsoiler, um, you're just not gonna get as much done in the same amount of time. The other thing that we really like is the adjustable depth. Not only do we have five shanks on unlike other um, subsoilers, and it is really important when you're getting a subsoiler to make sure you have enough tractor. We found that you even though they suggest 12 and a half horses per shank, we do a lot better with 15 horses per shank. But the other nice benefit about this is opposed to the single and triple shank subsoilers I've seen is we can adjust the, the depth of the shanks by adjusting how high or low these tires are and just dropping the whole thing on the ground when we're ready to roll. Whereas most traditional subsoilers, you're just using that three point hitch. You're not gonna be able to get that um, that deep and so over time you're still going to be creating a plow plan plow pan almost by always subsoiling to the same depth <clears throat> by the time we get this thing to where we're running the full depth we're not going to need to do it anymore um, because we will have alleviated the the hard pan created by the overgrazing from the historical owners of the property and our grasses are going to be sending roots you know, who knows, 12, 20 feet deep. With that said, thanks for joining us as always. And if you have any questions or comments, we love your feedback. Don't hesitate to let us know what you're thinking. Thanks and have a great day.